Welcome back to the final part of the show. We're about to have our taste buds teased. So let's head to Cork where Kleena O'Connor is on dinner duty. So Kleena, remind us Hi. what you're making tonight. I am going to make a chicken and cashew nut um, kind of noodle takeaway. So really okay. easy. Anybody can make it for those nights where you kind of feel like you don't want to get a takeaway, but you want to eat a takeaway. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, all right. Right, so will I get started? Please. Oh, I will. Right, so we have some chopped up chicken breast. Now, this is so easy. I am going to put about two tablespoons of corn flour in on top of my chicken breast. And then I'm also going to get roughly about a teaspoon of garlic powder and just pop that in. And I'm going to give it a little mix around so that I coat all the, um, all the chicken breasts in the corn flour, yeah? Okay. So, so that makes it kind of nice. Oops, I lost a piece. That and makes it nice and crispy. How many chicken breasts did you use, Kleena? I use one per person. Okay. So I have two in here at the moment. But um, with the kids, like, I might use three between the four of them. You know, yeah. I wouldn't give them one each. Yeah. So we mix that. I don't know if you can see inside that bowl, but that's what it looks like. So we're going to fry that. I have one frying already, only because it takes about 10 minutes to fry the meat. And... Um, I didn't want to poison myself later when I'm eating it, and then you're, you're all gone. OK, so did you so need much oil on that pan? I used about two tablespoons of olive oil. Okay. But um, if you're being super healthy, this is really good in the air fryer. Just put the chicken into the air fryer. It's something else to wash, but pop it into the air fryer at 200 for about 10 to 12 minutes, and the chicken gets really crispy. That's really nice. But obviously not everyone has an air fryer, so we can fry it as well. So we're going to fry it today. Then we're going to do our noodles. I love these um, soba noodles. They've got buckwheat and like regular wheat flour as well. So I am going to pop them into some boiling water and they take four minutes. So really, really easy. So just pop them in and they are going to cook away themselves for four minutes. And then into this pan, now, because this chicken is cooked, into this pan, I am going to put some garlic. Loads of garlic. I like, I like two or three cloves, but you can do it to taste. Yeah. So two cloves of garlic. And then I am also going to add some chopped chili and some chopped ginger. I used quite a mild chili today, so like I have a load of it going in. But, you know, again, you can do that to taste. So I have one chopped chili and I have about an inch of ginger grated. Pop that in. Turn up the heat a little bit. And I'm going to put in a chopped onion as well. I normally do about half an onion per person. So... Pop that in and we will just turn that up a little bit more because I had it turned down nice and low while the chicken was cooking Okay, I was waiting. So we leave that. <laughs> she had, while the chicken was cooking. cooking and she was waiting for us. That's what Kleena said. She was like, like she's I was waiting for ye. Where Hello? were ye? By I was God. On you, <laughs> <laughs> a woman's got things to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid the kids will arrive home in the middle of it. Um, so we have... Um, a chopped pepper, some mushrooms, controversial, I know. I love mushrooms. Leave them out if you don't like them. And about 50 grams of cashew nuts. Just fire it all in and leave it cook away mad. We're going to leave that there for a few minutes. The smell is so good. Now, the sauce. The sauce is really easy. I've got to use a jam jar. Use whatever you have. I, just, I normally use, like, keep the mustard jars, you know, when they're empty. I have some soy sauce, and I am going to put in two tablespoons of soy sauce into my little jam jar. I, I've got a dark one today. Some people like to use a light one. Um, you can mix them, it doesn't matter, whatever okay. you like. So two tablespoons of soy sauce. This is mirin. Mirin, you may or may not be familiar with. It's a Japanese, it's a well, sweet Japanese wine. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to sprinkle me gently around the place like shaken back apparently. <laughs> Uh, we've got about three, <laughs> just under three minutes there. Okay, 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 okay. Concentrating now, like, get it together. Okay, so Mirin, you can buy it in Tesco, any supermarket. It's not, you don't have to go like to the outer Hebrides, you know what I mean, to get it. So put a tablespoon of that in, and I'm going to put about a tablespoon of honey in as well. So just squeeze it in, and about 30 grams of sesame seeds. Pop them in here. Close the lid, and give it a shake. There's the, the There's, There's the shaking bag. There's the shaking bag. I knew you were waiting for Shake that. what your mama gave you. <laughs> I knew you were. Now, noodles are done, hypothetically speaking. They probably need 30 more seconds, but um, they're fine. Okay. Uh, yeah. Should they continue to cook in with, in with the chicken? 
They will, they will. And do you know what? I would often cook the noodles beforehand and um, yeah. you can plunge them into a bowl with ice cold water and it just stops them from cooking anymore so they don't get soft and stodgy. And then they're there for when you need them. So just pop them in here and give it a, a little mix. Now this is, I wish you could smell it. It's, it's so good. And then pour in your, your sauce. Oh, fab. It looks amazing. Yeah, no, it's so easy. It's so easy as well. And like, I mean, I'm all for having a takeaway, all for having a takeaway and supporting your locals. But um, you know, there's some nights you just want to save the takeaway for the weekend, but you yeah. feel like having a takeaway still. It's really good for that. So just coat it all and it goes all um, kind of sticky and salty and spicy. Give it a thing. And then I normally serve it in a bowl with a um, slice of lime on top. Uh, the lime is what makes it the, the fake away, isn't it? You feel really fun. It is, you like get you the lime. To... Oh my God, it's so good. And then you can keep one for your Corona. <laughs> <laughs> I know what someone's doing in Cork tonight. It looks fabulous out the back garden. She's cardigan on, she's out oh the back. Oh my God. I know it's the back. Hopefully the kids won't come home anytime soon. <laughs> wow, you're really pushing the, the keeping the kids out of the house, aren't you? Oh my God, the last thing my husband said to me before he went out was like, you know, no good look around me. He just goes, no, don't do anything to shame us. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. There was another one there. There she is. I am. Where am I gone? Oh, there. There you I are. Can't even... Oh, That's look it. at that. She's fat. Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> what a director, producer, absolutely fantastic. You did nothing to shame anyone no. at all. Oh, I hope not, I hope not. You never, you never would. She's there going, are you sweating? Are you all right, Lena? I need to lie down. I, like, I, I, I was like, I knew I was on this week and I was like, well, that this week's gone and we had noodles yesterday for lunch. We had noodles the day before.